I cannot believe how quickly Christmas is coming around. We only have weeks left to get all of the gifts for our loved ones. Robin has created a collaboration between myself, her and Carly so that we can give you guys some gift ideas for the homesteader and gardener. And I'm super excited to share some of the ideas that I have for you because I know that personally I would love to get these myself. Let me get my little list. <laughs> so here is my list of 10 gifts for the homesteader and gardener. The first one that I have on my list is an advent calendar. This is something that I'm creating for my subscribers on my channel. This is something that I think is so much fun and is a gift that you can give early on in December and then be able to enjoy seeing your loved ones open it and enjoy the gifts that they get from it. A handmade one would be the ultimate one to go, but you don't have to spend a lot of money on buying things to add into it. Think really simply because us homesteaders and gardeners are quite simple people. If you give us a seed each day, that's enough, or a sweet treat, or even a different type of tea to enjoy in our garden as we walk around, I think an advent calendar is the sweetest gift to give somebody. The second thing on my list is jam. Jam is one of the easiest preserves to make. All you need is fruit, sugar, some lemon, and you've got jam. Put it into a really nice jar, add some ribbon around the top and a really cute note and anyone will appreciate the hard work that you put into it. To go along with a jam jar or a preserve, another really fun idea is to get a mason jar or even like an old coffee jar. Anything that you have laying around, you could buy one if you wanted to. The op shops are a really good place for this because often you can pick them up for like a dollar, which is super cheap but fill it up with the ingredients, the dry ingredients for your favorite cookie recipe or pancake recipe. Include a few fresh farm eggs on the side or a few of the other fix-ins that are wetter on the sides if you like. Have a little recipe card on the front to help your friends or family to make the really sweet gift that you're giving to them. And I think it's just such a beautiful way to layer the ingredients into it so that it becomes a really beautiful gift. Last year I gave this type of gift to my secret Santa and it was so much fun and they really appreciated the home touch. The fourth gift that I recommend to get for a homesteader or gardener is again something homemade. We really appreciate things that you have spent your time making and they're all the more sweeter. So I suggest making something like a sauce, a Worcestershire sauce, a hot sauce, something that is used really often in our households, even ketchup or barbecue sauce. I have a few really great recipes on my channel that I recently created of me putting together some Worcestershire sauce and rhubarb barbecue barbecue sauce which is absolutely delicious but these are gifts that I'll be giving to my family and friends because it's just a really nice sauce that seems like a lot of hard work to make and is quite it seems unattainable and yet it's not so I'll be sharing that out with them now all of the gifts that I've said so far I have put them in order because this next gift idea is a basket full of these treats. So if you make some Worcestershire sauce or even some barbecue sauce a really great idea is to put a little gift basket together for the barbecue wizard. Barbecue wizard? That sounds weird. So once you have all of these little preserves made up you can make up really cute little baskets and you can theme them around different things like the barbecue person or the herb garden person or even the day after Christmas basket. So think of some ideas that you could go by. Um, ones that I'll be making this year is I'll be putting together my Worcestershire sauce and barbecue sauce with like a little spatula or um, a recipe card for some burgers with all of the fix-ins that someone would need and giving that as a gift. And the best thing about gifts like this is that you can actually enjoy it with the person once you give it to them. Another really fun one is a day of Christmas pancake mix and you can have a jar of pancake mix have the fresh eggs there um, and maybe a few different like fun toppings like a blueberry syrup that you can make yourself or some lemon and sugar just keep it simple Gift idea number six is loose leaf tea. Us gardeners love to have a cup of tea or coffee that we can walk around our garden with to instead of drink off enjoy all the flowers and plants that we're growing until it gets cold Maybe it'll be a good idea to get some iced tea. <laughs> 
but what you can do is get um, some loose leaf tea you can even make your own blend my favorite blend to make is mint lemon and honey I think it's a really sweet delicious combination you can add some green tea or black tea but it's really not necessary have a bag of loose leaf tea a really beautiful mug that you can pick up from a local pottery maker we have lots in the bigger valley here and so i'll recommend a few down in the list below uh, so that you can go and check them out and support them if you like their work last year i made this gift for my mum and my sister and i included a little tea strainer so you could put the loose leaf tea into it and then mix it into your tea and i think this is just such a lovely idea to give to others and is really simple and there's so many different combinations that you can make it with I'm someone who personally loves experiences. I would so much prefer to be taken out on a really lovely day or go and do something on my own or with my partner than to get a physical gift. I think sometimes when we give people things, they're not always things that people need and a lot of the time they'll become either waste or there's a lot of guilt in using it. So avoid that all together this Christmas and just gift someone an experience. If you're going for a garden or a homesteader, you might take them out to a nice winery, a brewery, maybe even an experience where they learn how to cook something. There's so many cooking classes out there all over that there surely is something for everyone. And if you don't want to spend money on an experience, why not just offer your time? A lot of gardeners right now in Australia are about to start their summer gardens or already have, and things are about to get super duper busy and so just offering your hand in weeding or harvesting or preserving some of the things coming out of their garden dedicating a day or even a few hours is more than enough and really does go a long way in showing that you care and love and that's the most important thing about Christmas time but of course I have a few more ideas if those weren't enough my next gift idea is anything to do with preserving as I mentioned just before it's summertime here and so the garden is about to bloom with lots of delicious food and delicious vegetables but there's also a lot of abundance that needs to be preserved so getting a gift to do with preserving is the perfect way to help a homesteader or gardener think jars that's something that is constantly in need if you want to spend a little bit more you might consider getting them a dehydrator or even making your own dehydrator for them some a water bath canner there's so many different ways that others can preserve and you can support them in doing that and the last gift idea that i have for you guys to give to your friend who's a gardener or homesteader is one of the basic tools that they already use a lot of the time us gardeners and homesteaders are quite stingy we're spending a lot of money on seeds and irrigation and lots of expensive things to make our homesteads more efficient and work a lot better that sometimes we're quite stingy when it comes to things like gloves succoteers uh, baskets even like a really proper hose and so these are things that you could potentially purchase of a more high quality or a design that is more efficient because a lot of the time those are things that I know I personally have been given or just bought cheap and they tend to break or they don't last long or you just kind of have holes all through your gloves so it's always a good idea to spend a little bit of money on the things that are considered basics but really we use every single day let me know if you are going to use any of these ideas this Christmas or if you have any other great DIY or resourceful or even wonderful ideas that can be gifts for homesteaders and gardeners if you like this video you're going to love all the videos I'm putting out this December every single day I have a new video for you up until Christmas time and I even have a challenge on my Instagram page where you can join in and do some of the fun activities I have planned this month so I hope you enjoy my list of things that you can get for a homestead or garden of make sure to check out Robin and Carly's videos as well for even more great ideas to gift to others I just love listening to these videos and being able to hear some different ideas that you might not have considered in the past and can sometimes be easy and cheap as opposed to just wasting your money.